Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how we took $30 to make a brick backsplash in our kitchen. So what we did was bought this $30 um, board at Lowe's and drove it home in our minivan. <laughs> And once we got it home, we just cut it down to the size of our kitchen backsplash. So we have nothing as a backsplash in our kitchen. It was just a wall that we had painted. So I am just making the measurements of the wall on our board here now. And then I'm just going to take a chalk line and snap a chalk line so we can cut the board to size. I love me a good chalk line. We got our board at Lowe's and we found it in the paneling section. We just cut the paneling to size and then if need be, we trimmed it to fit where it needed to go. It was a lot of kind of taking it up and down the steps. What's wrong with that? It looks perfect. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be fun. It's going to go more over into there. Do we really need outlet? Then I just marked any places where cabinetry was or that needed kind of extra cutouts and I went through and cut out those spots so the board would fit snugly on our backsplash. This was a trick that I used to copy where the electrical outlets were so I could cut them out evenly. I just took a piece of paper and traced the opening onto that and then just measured from the top of the wall down to the outlet and then on the board the top of the wall and down on the outlet to figure out where that needed to be and then I just took that piece of paper that I traced and that gave me the exact size that I needed to cut out for the electric outlet. I don't think we filmed it but we ended up using spacers on our outlet to push our outlets out a little further so when the board was on there they ended up being flush with our backsplash. And all I did was drill holes into the corners of the rectangle and then just use the jigsaw to kind of connect the dots and cut that whole square out. Yeah, he has extenders and that outlet cover. And would you want new co outlet covers? No. Oh, that's right. We're gonna paint it white. That's right. We're gonna paint it white. Do a dance. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 that's
Here's what the wall looked like once we got all the panels cut and placed. And after we placed them, we adhered them to the wall with liquid nails and then went in through some of the grout lines and nailed them onto the wall so they would really stay on there. I do want to mention that when you're cutting your board, you really want to pay attention to where your bricks are going to line up. So when we were cutting our board, it ended up being that we had to cut one row of bricks off every time we cut a new panel. So our bricks would match when they lined up on the bottom. So I'm just mixing up grout. I've never grouted anything in my life before. Um, I just mixed the grout so it had like a yogurt consistency with just water and we just kind of put it on there, smeared it on there to um, make the bricks look, have more dimension. This is the grout that I used. I got our bag at Lowe's and I got the smallest bag. I think it was maybe like $10. So what I ended up doing was working in sections. I would grout a section and then go through with my finger and just line the grout lines. It was kind of hard to find kind of those vertical lines so I just ran my finger down and while like pushing and it would just kind of like fall into the vertical line and once I found one I knew where the other ones were going to be in the other layers but I just kept going back through and grouting it kind of with my finger um, and smoothing it out the way that I wanted it to be and then I would do another patch and then go back and kind of sand it with my fingers. So I grouted this part first and then started it here. a little bit more off of your finger. You're essentially just like sanding it with your finger. And then after it's a little bit more dry, you can go back and do like the edges so the grout line is even more defined. So the bricks stand out. And this is how it looks when it was all done and dry. I did follow another YouTuber when I was doing this, so I'll be sure to link her below. I think it looks great. We are gonna seal it with a polyurethane, and then we should be able to wipe it off and have no problems. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe and give it a big like. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the Rustic Farmhouse Brick Backsplash.